Hello and welcome to Bryanston School for the Dorset Derby. Bryanston against Camford. It's the big one. This one has gone down in folklore for years and now we are finally back on the live screens. First time back for Next Gen 15 on the live stream since half term and that brilliant St Joseph's Festival. What an event that was. Neither of these two sides there but Camford were up at Merkiston Castle for the festival. Can they build on what was a promising tournament there? Well, first up we've got Bryanston, the home side. And in the front row they've got Benny Rochmankowski, Paddy Moran and George Ball, Aaron Kennedy and Ollie Close in the second row. Kieran Brown, Henry Ward and Stan Vincent in the back row. And we will come back to that in a second because we are underway here in the Dorset Hills. Absolutely glorious setting here at Bryanston School. Speaking to a friend of mine on the way down, telling me about their cousin who went here. What a wonderful time they had, and certainly judging by those conversations I've picked up around the touchlines. Full of happy, smiling faces. Three brothers in the Camford side today, two of them in the front row, the two Janaways and the skipper playing at hooker, and the third of the Janaways. Packing down at number eight to begin the game, but could well move into the front row, I'm told. that an all Janaway front row is a possibility. Canford on the attack on the right-hand side, but it's turned over by Bryanston. Working their way down that left-hand side of the pitch. Referee today, by the way, turned up with his own belt to be able to wear his ref mic. No calling out to individual players, please. That's not how we do it, OK? Very organised from him. Expecting big things from the man with the whistle. Expecting bigger things from the two sets of players on the field. Scrum down Bryanston, that front row of Roshmankowski, Moran and Ball, up against the two Janaways and Woodford of Canford. That one just wheels around a little bit, though. What? Just to finish off that Bryanston team for you. Obviously, we had Roshankovsky, Moran and Ball in the front row. Aaron Kennedy and Ollie Close in the second row. Kieran Brown, Henry Ward and Stan Vincent in the back row. Halfbacks, Ollie Richardson and Aidan Bell. Centres, Seb Allies and Maverick Goodchild. Maverick, what a name that is. In the back three, Charlie Rodge, Dom Heffer and George Lydon. Bryanston on the attack, through Heffer, down the right-hand side, big clear out, but stolen on the floor by Canford and Moxie, the former flanker, but the penalty goes against him. And Camford, well in, not Camford, rather, Bryanston have the penalty and they make good ground. Saw them warming up from just that position but a half hour or so ago. Canford, by the way, just while we wait for this line out. Two Janaways and Woodford in the front row. Hallam and Martin in the second row. Kasegi, Bernal and Janaway in the back row. Halfbacks, Fountain and Feingold. Motsi, Timberlake and Robinson in the back three. And Sinnott and Schuster Bruce in the centres. Martin and Kiff on the bench for Canford. Kennedy, White and Davey on the Bryanston bench. Bryanston's ball gets going and a little dart from Molly Richardson, the upper sixth man at scrum half. Good work and tight from Bryanston, but Canford earned the penalty. Bryanston coming in from the side. We're expecting a pretty even game here today. Bryanston with a perfect played 7-1-7 seven, seven record. Canford have won 50% of their games. But Canford playing on a slightly tougher circuit at the moment. So we're expecting things to be pretty even. Janaway to throw in. 
the loose head Janaway rather than the hooker or number eight. So we're going to have some fun with that today, aren't we? Ball goes to ground, but we'll see a box kick coming in here from Fountain. Been told to look out for his box kicking game. And that's exactly why. Absolutely on the money there. Bryanston, oh, some wizardry to escape. Just slipping on the surface from Aidan Bell. Fastest man in the team is Aidan Bell, and we saw just a glimpse of it there as he looked to break out from inside his own 22. dart once again from Ollie Richardson. Richardson looking as though he wants to cause a few problems for the camp of defence on his side at just about up to the halfway line. Richardson goes blind to Paddy Moran, the Dorset and Wiltshire captain. If we get a chance, we'll see if we can take a look at Moran's moustache as well. November effort, trying to raise some funds for men's mental health. Here's the Bryanston hooker. Camford showing real ambition from their own 22, and it could reap some rewards. They've got men over. Oh, what a tackle that is on the cover from Bryanston. Brilliant energy from the giant second row, Ollie Close. He's been training with Wales under 18 in recent times. And you saw the work rate and energy from close there. <laughs> Saving his side from a threatening overlap. Camford kick went straight out, so Bryanston will have a line out. Just outside the 22. Bryanston? Five. Nil, nil, six minutes in. <laughs> to the tail oh, it's well gathered by Bryanston. A great pick up from Richardson as well. And Bryanston go charging through the middle. Quick ball for them as well. Back on the inside goes Bell. That fancy footwork and the gas from Bell. Is he going to get to the line? No, just hold short. Gets the offload off the deck. Kieran Brown takes it into contact. Cousin of Abby Brown, the England and Great Britain sevens captain. Hovering near the line now, Bryanston. Inches short. Bell has another little dot. Oh, it's a wonderful offload from Bell. And Seb Ailes. Oh, it's been passed forward. Oh, it was nearly a glorious moment for Seb Ailes, or Ali's rather. Joined from Priestlands for sixth form, and he so nearly had a try to remember that. We saw Bell getting in between the two defenders and getting the offload away. Oh, I think he's dropped it over the line. Is that what the referee said? I think it is. Oh. Well, it is so greasy out there, and that just an indication of it. And Camford live to fight another day here. Camford, by the way, won two of the uh, the last two of these games in a row, four of the last five. Before that, there was real Bryanston dominance through an era that saw them with the likes of Charlie Ewells, Rory Jennings, Max Clark, Tom Wollstonecroft, Ollie Devoto, so many top players part of the Bryanston setup in those early 2010s. Coached back then by Mike Pergos, father of Henry Pergos, who was a pupil here, went on to earn plenty of caps for Scotland. And indeed was best man to one of the Bryanston coaching staff. 
Little tidbit we found out earlier. Bryanston with the attacking scrum. Canford's ball was a bit scrappy off the last one. So Bryanston, oh, I thought they were going to break off the base, but the referees called the reset. Tense moments, these. If you're in the nearby area, by the way, leave the stream running. But do come over because there are some bacon sandwiches going on the barbecue just in the, the far right-hand corner of your screen. Bell. Back on the inside. It's a good child. That's going to be a penalty for Bryanston for offside. And Richardson goes quick, feeds it out to the left-hand side. And across the line goes Charlie Lodge. Bryanston take a 5-0 lead here. Well, it was a simple try in the end. The penalty for offside. Richardson, a live wire as he has been all throughout this first 10 minutes, goes quick. Feeds the ball out to Lodge on that left wing and the upper sixth man has the first try of the game well, hello who have we got converting this it's the number eight stan vincent hasn't quite got the distance on the kick but we like to see that don't we well we've seen it with scotland lately haven't we that they've been struggling to find a find a kicker in the absence of, uh, of Finn Russell. Perhaps the answer is get your back row kicking. Vincent has been playing first team rugby down at Bournemouth Rugby Club. Big carry from Vincent. Bell. Oh, thumping tackle from Canford. I think wearing 20, it might be Moxie on the left wing. Bell's kick almost into our cameraman there. Oh, that's a huge tackle from Moxie. We were told before the game that he hits like a train, and he certainly does. Bryanston line out. They've had some good possession off the line out so far. Paddy Moran, a former back row man, on throwing duties. To the tail again. I'm loving the ambition off the line out in horrible conditions. And Bell finds a bit of grass and takes his side into Canford territory. It is absolutely howling down here at Bryanston. We were told the worst of the weather would be at about three o'clock, and it turns out the people of Bryanston know their weather forecasts. Not straight at the line up from Camford. Caught on the right hip, you can see the referee saying that. So we'll have a scrum down Bryanston. And the home side looking very happy to just work from set piece to set piece here. Unlucky that one in tricky conditions here in deepest Dorset. And what can Bryanston do with the resulting scrum? Or can Camford and their trio of Janaways turn the ball over? And a ball squirts out the back, so Richardson has to go charging after it. Now Bell's having to deal with the greasy ball as well. Does well to escape the clutches and get the offload away. And now there's a little bit of space for Bryanston. The ball 
possibly forward is out the hands and then squirts off the knee of Dom Heffer and we will have another set piece and I think that is going to be a pattern that we see again and again today we are going to have a fair few scrums Fountain to put the ball in. Everyone's socks down. You never see enough socks up nowadays. Big carry from Sinnott. But turned over. Great work on the floor from Henry Ward. Another of those Dorset and Wiltshire players. Great work on the deck from Ward, but it was a huge carry from Sinnott. Been told to expect plenty of that from him in this game, and I suspect, given the nature of the conditions, we're going to see a lot of it. Sinnott on the charge. Like an absolute limpet. Ward is there waiting and gets his rewards. Another line out. They've been showing great ambition, Bryanston, going for the tail of the line out almost every time. Will they do it again? They've been managing to catch clean ball off it. They do indeed to the tail. That one almost poached by Camford. In fact, it wasn't almost poached, it was just not straight. This time, ambition just getting the better of them. It's going to be a heavy workout for those six lads in the front row today. Another solid scrum, though. Doing a great job so far. Janaway. Breaks off the base. And now Martin, Bath under 18 man, takes it in. Tricky one for Fine Gold. And Mercurial outside half to take, but he's found some space in doing so. Oh, an offload from Sinnott. Motsi lobs it downfield. And Bryanston have got some tidying up to do. And it's the buzzing Richardson that does the tidying up. Oh, what a clear out. Canford under putting Bryanson under real pressure here. Ball eventually clips the touchline. Referee si signaling several knock ons there. I think Bryanston's came first. That was really good defensive work from Camford, though. A couple of massive clear outs. And then some real line speed to put Bryanston under pressure. And that's the formula that they need to work with. Sinnott throws the big pass out into the hands of Tim Blake. Could actually be Moxie over on that far side, I'm not quite sure. Spilled from Janaway. Bryanston playing with scrum advantage. You see the replay here. It's just a greasy ball, isn't it? Almost got to use the, the chest to catch it today. Sliding through the hands. Oh, 
Referee's going to want to have another go at this scrum. Full block fixture here today between these two Dorset rivals. And a healthy touchline presence as well. Oh, what is a lovely looking surface. And we'll have another reset. A few of those studs sliding on the turf. Keen for this one to be clean. And it is pretty tidy for Bryanston. Ball at the base. But it's a penalty. Incorrect bind from Rosh Minkowski. And Camford with a first real opportunity to give themselves a proper attacking platform in Bryanston territory. And just as I say that, Fine gold, the vice captain says he's going to go for the sticks. And the loose head there. Just getting his bind wrong. Well, Camford clearly signalling that they believe this is going to be a pretty tight and low scoring game. And this is a long penalty attempt from Fine gold. If he lands it, he signals to Bryanston that they simply cannot afford to give away penalties anywhere inside their own half. That's the pressure that Feingold can put on the home side here. Plenty of distance. Has he got the accuracy? Oh, what a kick that is. And he had 10 or 15 metres to spare. Canford. I've put Bryanston on notice with that kick. Narrowed the gap to two points. What a kick from Feingold. Wind behind him, but that could have gone from anywhere on the field almost. Janaway sets up a target for his back line. And fine goal. Thumps it long, but I think we're going to come back for a penalty. Camford with a chance to make some good ground here. captain well we know he's got a big boot now so what sort of distance can he get on this kick plenty is the answer beyond his own 10 meter line a great effort from fine gold and with those two kicks from fine gold i think we've just seen Perhaps what the tactics might be for both sides here. From a Bryanston point of view, it's about working from set piece to set piece. They've been building a really good platform there from Camford's point of view. Use that boot of fine gold. Earn the territory through the distance he can garner. Line up, Nick Cloak. Henry Ward at the tail of it, gobbles it up. Makes a bit of ground as well. Now Stan Vincent on the charge. Aiden Bell releases the back. Oh, great strength through contact from Goodchild. Maverick, love that. And now it's close. 
Ripped in the tackle, though, by Janaway. Camford again look like they're going to escape, and they do. Fountain goes digging. I think we're going to see that box kick of his. We are indeed. Sounded like it might have been touched in flight there. So everyone's on side, which means Brian's going to have to hurry the clearance kick. Yeah, see a little bit of kick tennis here, I think. Great kick that from Robinson. Versatile player. But most at home at fullback. As we see there from that brilliant clearing kick. For, <laughs> look at this from Richardson. He's having fun in the backfield today. Penalty Camford holding on. And well, having seen him kick one already, surely Feingold is going to opt for the sticks, and he does indeed. But I'll tell you what, having seen the first one, I cannot wait to watch this one. Great tackling. And then I think it's Janaway who gets on the deck. Possibly a little lucky to have got away with that angle. But nonetheless, earns a penalty for his side. And Feingold, can he add to that first kick just a couple of moments ago? It's a no fuss kicking routine, isn't it? Straight back, has a little look at the pace. Little swing of the hips, swing of the right leg. This one just drifts wide. 22. Had the distance, but not quite the accuracy. Well, the tide has really turned in this game. All Bryanston for the first 15 minutes or so. And since then, Camford have just nudged their way back into this one. <laughs> Bell's drop kick is a long one, but the referee playing for a penalty. I think Bryanston, oh no, Canford giving it a bit of lip. Well, as the ref says, a bit unnecessary. They've cost themselves what would have been nice ball to return from. Although they may get another chance. It was just spilled on the take. So difficult to take those high balls today. Darkness descending. You'd think this was an evening kickoff, but I assure you, 2.45 start it was. to the scrum, ready for the put-in. There's a Canford penalty at the last one. And it goes down again, and which way is the referee going to play? I think he's going to say that we're going to have a reset. Big week this for Bryanston. They're playing in round four of the Vars Set. against Harvey Bridge Community College on Thursday. Camford have been playing in the cup. Boys. Almost lost for words as fine gold. Went charging through on the loose ball. 
could have picked it up himself and probably popped over, but he selflessly tried to grubber it through to his mate on the right side. But just a little heavy footed. Well, that is selfless play from the fly half. But a sign again from the charge down that Camford is starting to feel ever more confident in this one. Oh, what a kick that is. Momentum fully with Camford now. And they've got a five meter line out. Well, in fact, Brian's gonna have a five meter line out, but you know what I'm you know what I'm trying to say. Big chance this for Camford. Can they poach the ball from Bryanston or at least force them into a short clearance kick? I think we're going to see a one man lift at the front. Fair play to Janaway. Oh, and the one man lift works. Martin nicked the ball, but unfortunately for him, the tap back fell into Bryanston's hands. So Bryanston. Hoof the ball kind of into no man's land. Thundering tackle from Stan Vincent. He's had a really big game so far, two or three massive tackles. From the Bournemouth man. Canford having a rumble in midfield, but the ball knocked loose in the tackle. And hey, guess what? We'll have another scrum. It was a well-targeted tackle, actually, from Maverick Goodchild targeting the ball. And if you do that when it's as greasy as it is today, it's got a fair chance of popping out. The referee is really not happy with the way these scrums are going at the moment. Ollie Close having a word with him, trying to use his experience with Wales and Bath. of the Alan Wynne Jones about him as Ollie Close. And you can't say that that's a negative, can you? Few players better to be compared to. Than the Welsh great. This time the scrum is clean and Richardson breaks off the base. He's found a bit of space. Found a lot of space in fact. Richardson on the charge down the right hand side. Still going as Richardson into the 22. Broke through the first tackle. Ball's a little slow as they try and work out who to play at nine. Effort does the job and it's penalty advantage to Bryanston. Looks as though Finley Kennedy has come on, part of the Canada under 20 training squad. But we'll come back for the penalty and Richardson almost as you'd expect, goes quick, gives it to Vincent. Bryanston are going to go short. The ball is spilled. Canford with the scrum advantage, and I think we're going to see one of those fountain box kicks. Charge down. But there's no advantage, so we will come back for the scrum. Oh, what a run that was from Molly Richardson. To get Bryanston into this position, absolutely stunning stuff. Breaking off the base of the scrum, beating two men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's as, as and then showing down, great gas to get up to the 22. Bursting through the first tackle, eventually hauled down. But in the end, we have a Camford scrum. Absolute live wire at nine. Richardson. Of course he's clapping. Classic scrum half. The referee again is just not too happy with the goings on at the scrum today. Let's go, 
anyone was in any doubt as to the weather here today, just take a look at the background there. Genoa spills the ball, but it goes backwards, kick charged down. Oh, brilliantly gathered by the ever-present Stan Vincent. Ali's. Ball is ripped from him in the tackle, is it? No, illegally so. Penalty, Bryanston. I think the referee's just gonna have a bit of a word with them. Penalty, Bryanston. Richardson denied the opportunity to go fast, but he'll still tap and he'll still give it to Vincent. We could be in here for a second try for Bryanston, could we? Yeah! Was there a bit of crossing referee? I don't think, think so. So George Lydon gets across on the right-hand side. Two tries for Bryanston. It was great work in midfield from Maverick Goodchild. Heffer cut in. Lydon went wide on that overs line. And Lydon gets across. For a wonderful try. And guess what? We are going to see that man, Stan Vincent, have another pop at the posts. Well, he's done everything else today. Why not kick? He's got the distance. Has he got the accuracy? He does indeed. An absolute thump from Vincent. And Bryanston have a 12-3 lead. And I think that might be half time as well. And playing into the wind, that 12-3 advantage is a massive one. Bryanston 12, Camford 3. It's been a really tough first half for both sides, working in the face of some really difficult conditions, but Bryanston have taken advantage with two tries for a 12-3 lead. Canford had their moments. There was a period where it looked as though they were building the momentum and the strength in this game. But Bryanston have topped and tailed the half with tries. And here's the first of them. Richardson went fast, drew the men, and it was a simple one for Charlie Lodge to cross over on that left-hand side. And it was from a penalty again for the second one. Richardson with the quick tap. Through the hands of Vincent and then Ali's. And then look at this from Maverick Goodchild. Brilliant work. And George Lydon gets over in the right-hand corner. And then Vincent with that thumping conversion made it 12-3. Camford's points coming from the boot. A fine gold, the fly half. Who had a glorious opportunity for a try of his own. Selflessly tried to play his mate in. But unfortunately for him, the ball just sliding off the turf. But I'll tell you what, Bryanston are going to be very, very happy with that half-time scoreline. Playing into the wind. If someone had told them they'd take a 12-3 lead into the break, they would have bitten their hand off. Half-time here in Dorset. Bryanston 12, Camford 3.
So, half time here. Bryanson 12, Camford 3. A little bit of time for me to uh, run you through what is a busy few days of live streaming coming up here on Next Gen 15. Remember, you can catch every game that we stream live on both our YouTube channel and on TikTok. After this game, we're off to Worcester and a trip to Six Ways Stadium on Monday. Good to see rugby back at Six Ways, where King School Worcester and RGS Worcester go head to head in the 15th annual Modus Cup. We are expecting 4,000 people down at the stadium and a good few more watching on the live stream. It is one of the events of the season. That's the Modus Cup, seven o'clock kickoff on Monday night. Then on Wednesday, it's up to Rutland for Oakham against Stowe in the under 18 schools cup. That's the regional final in the Midlands section. Oakham, the former champions up against Stowe. One of the most informed teams in the country, but Oakham are gonna give them more than a match. Then on Friday, it's North London. Merchant Taylors against Reading Bluecoat for the conclusion of Merchant Taylors Rugby Week. And then the following week, Thursday evening, off to King's Home for Cheltenham College against Sir Thomas Riches at the home of Gloucester. And then on Saturday, the school's championship returns down at Millfield School as they welcome Whitgift for what is Whitgift's final game in this year's school championship. Here in Dorset though, we are back underway. Canford kick off, 12-3 behind, playing into the wind now. And if I hadn't mentioned it already, you can tell by just looking at your screen, it is a pea super out there. Brian Stint. Kick long and Canford return. Bryanston off, well offloaded out of what was a potential mall situation. Ball goes to deck, but picked up by Aaron Kennedy. Younger brother, by the way, of Finley, who's been training with the Canada under 20s, is Aaron. Camford have possession. Oh, this slow ball on Tackle. halfway. Really well slowed down by Ollie Close there. Through the hands they go. Canford. Trying to play quite direct and now Feingold is going to look for a bit of space and finds it. This is going to be a territorial battle this second half if these early exchanges are anything to go by. You can see there from the touch judges flag. Canford playing into a pretty heavy wind, which just goes to show how impressive that 12-3 lead that Bryanston have from the first half. It really is. Ball is stolen by Canford. decision about which way to go they end up going left and they find a little bit of space and joy down the left hand side the skipper Janaway making good ground but bundled into touch in the end but they are just yards from the Bryanston line and they cause the Bryanston line out some problems at the last one can they do so again here Come 
sure you stay behind the line, please. No. Two absolute line-out technicians are the directors of rugby of these two sides. Scott, Hos Scott Hobson for Bryanston, the former Bath and England under 20 second row. And Peter Short for Camford, the former Leicester and Bath and England Saxons second row. So those two will no doubt be enjoying the number of line-outs that we're seeing today. It's good work in them all from Bryanston. They've made good ground. Setting up a decent platform for Richardson. And now Ali's. Aidan Bell, rather, at fly half. Apologies to Seb Ali's. He's standing at 12. Always helps if I actually read the right name off the team sheet. It is inches from my face. You'd think I'd do a better job of it. Nevertheless, Bell's kick is a good one. Let's put Bryanston up to the 10 metre line in the Camford half. Camford will have the line out throw in. Janaway. The man to launch it in, safely gathered by Kasegi. At the back, but then it's loose ball and it's hacked through by Bryanston. Camford just about managing to tidy it up. And we will have a goal line dropout. Hacked through. And a really tricky ball for Robinson to get under control, but he just managed to get his fingers down on it. We'll have a goal line dropout. Well, I thought Feingold there was about to take a little cheeky short one to himself. Instead, it's a really good routine out to the right-hand touchline. But again, lost forward in the tackle. So, Bryanston have great possession here inside the Camford 22. Oh, it's a little chip over the top from Bell. Gathered in by Camford, and Camford are starting to break out from their own 22. Advantage over from the knock-on. The Camford still looking to play with a bit of ambition here. Feingold gets it out to the far side. And eventually, Bryanston bundle them into touch on that far side. And we close the skipper there. Opting for the scrum. I think this might be our first scrum of the second half. Lost forward into touch. They've chosen a scrum. If anyone's keeping count. You'll be beyond the number of fingers and toes that you've got. Crouch! Find! Set! Scrum completed. Nice and tidily. Bell. The big fend and finds a bit of space. And now it's out wide. Taken into contact. That's really strong through contact from Heffer. But it's really strong in the contact from Canford and the skipper Janaway with some great work on the floor. Hands his side. An escape route. And Feingold only too happy to take that escape route and hammer the ball downfield. Brilliant work from Janaway. Stay at 12-3. Big move. Same move. Penalty advantage. From Camford, and they have penalty advantage. What are they going to do with that free play? They're going to juggle the ball for a little bit. 
No, Feingold is going to try and release those outside of him, but it's spilled through contact, so we'll come back for the penalty. And if you are going to be giving any advice to either side, given the way this game is going, it is to be ultra hot on your discipline because penalties are going to make the difference here. They are the only way of gaining territory, really. So much ball is spilled due to the conditions. So if you can keep your discipline, the territorial battle is going to be the easier one to win. That's Camford are demonstrating back-to-back -back penalties. Sees them go from almost on their own try line up to the Bryanston 10 metre line. A few shenanigans at that line out. And three, I think, does everyone a favour and says, let's just, let's just do it again. No point messing around. This tidy line out ball, and again, Camford up for them all. Squeezed a penalty out Bryanston last time. Can they squeeze another? The mall rumbles on. Feeding the back line now. Sinnott takes it into midfield. Stolen by Bryanston, though. Referee says the ball was out. And Bryanston can escape. Bell thumps it downfield, finds a bit of grass. It's a great chase from Bryanston as well. Really good chase from Bryanston. Charged down as well. And knocked on. And Bryanston, having turned that ball over almost on their own 22, now have a scrum. A few yards short of the Camford 22. It was a fantastic chase from Bryanston. You don't see a lot of charge downs from that particular part of the body from Seb Ali's, but anywhere will do. Helps his side force the knock on. No, no, no punches of any throwing to go. Please tell me this isn't like an extra line. Bryanston scrum. Crow! Oh. Fine! Oh, Set! Hold! Hold out, hold out. Ball squirts out the side, I thought, but referee says it was out. It's hacked through. And we'll have a Camford line out. We really are working from set piece to set piece at the moment. Absolutely right. Straight out, fellas, back we go. My mistake, you're right, Jack. That is excellent work from the Camford skipper. Helping the referee out with his uh, with his law book, and fair play to the referee. Admits his error. The most politely asked question of a referee that's ever been asked, and it just goes to show: you ask nicely, you might get your reward. Side entry four wide. Penalty advantage, Camford. You got, you got penalty We've said you got penalty discipline is key here. And at the moment, Camford are winning that discipline Four, battle. Side entry. side entry into the mall. Third penalty in pretty quick succession for Canford. And 
you see it here. It's a fairly clear-cut case of side entry. Difficult to have any arguments with that one. Can to go long and go too long. Bryanston steal it and make fantastic ground. I think that's the open side, Henry Ward. And Bell just dinks one through and finds a bit of space. Ball beats the chasers, but it's great territory for Bryanston. White boots for today's referee. That's uh, very snazzy. Silver, in fact. Two more, please, lad. Yes. Canford White, well, scrappy ball, but they've managed to secure it. Okay, I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt when you ran into a load of players and put you offside. He sent it. But accidental offside means a Canford error and a Bryanston scrum. Finley Kennedy there packing down at eight now for the second half. Kennedy does well to manage to rescue that one from the depths of the scrum. And Bryanson on the attack. Is there a third try coming for them? Cutting back inside. And there is indeed. And it's a try for Dom Heffer for Bryanston. Three tries for Bryanston. It was a great pass. Once again from Goodchild, who's made two with his work in the outside centre channel. Top work from Kennedy as well to get that ball out of the scrum. But look at this, draw and then a big looping pass from Goodchild. And cutting back on the angle. I think it was the right winger, Dom Heffer. who almost accidentally throws the ball at the referee in his joy at scoring the try. I think we can safely say that was an accident. Time off just while we uh, let the injured player get seen to. Gives me a good chance to remind you of our friends at return to play. Doing some wonderful work in helping schools manage injuries and, as their name suggests, returning to play following injury. And given today's climates, one of their particular skills is head injury management and helping schools navigate their way through that. More important now than ever. Great work that return to play are doing. You can go and check them out on their website and social media channels. A wonderful team there. Seventeen three. Bryanston lead at their third try of the game. The first score of the second half. And they have been very clinical of the men in white. We see the replay of the try here. Maverick Goodchild, he's having some game at outside centre. Second try that he set up. And Heffer, well, the, the seas just parted for him as he stepped back inside. He caught everyone wrong footed. Janaway did his best to get across on the cover, but ultimately he was simply trying to tidy up what had been left behind. 
so difficult to step back on that inside shoulder when the ground beneath you is absolutely sodden. Great footballing skills there, by the way, from Aiden Bell. Got to enjoy that. Reminder again then of the schedule coming up here on Next Gen 15, Monday night, off to six ways for the 15th annual Modus Cup, Kings Worcester against RGS Worcester. Wednesday, it's Schools Cup action, Oakham against Stowe, what a heavyweight clash that is. And then Friday night lights in North London, Merchant Taylors Northwood hosting Reading Bluecoat. We saw a cracking game last year in that one. Will we see another this year? Here in Dorset, Bryanston leads 17-3. That conversion drifting just wide, but it's three tries for Bryanston and a 17-3 lead with about 20 minutes left to go. And the home side have been so clinical so far. Played seven, one seven. Will it be played eight, one eight? They've got 20 minutes to defend a 14 point lead. But the ball spilled off the kickoff. So immediately Camford with a chance to begin that comeback. Just two converted tries behind. Scrappy ball though, and it's knocked on, and Bryanston once again have an escape route. Well, Camford have had their positional opportunities a few times in this half, but have been unable to convert. Crow! Find! Set! Big scrum that from Camford, and they earn the penalty. Oh, what a response that is from the men in blue. A huge moment that. And fine gold. No thoughts of kicking for sticks now. He is going straight into the corner. What a scrum from Canford on the Bryanston put in. That was from Feingold as well. Bang on the money. Can his team capitalise on that position he's hold, given them? Hold. Well, they've done the first part. Penalty advantage. And they have the penalty advantage. Ball rip clear, but we'll have a penalty. Bryanston were offside. Nine. On the line, on the line. And they'll have another chance here. Camford, they go through Janaway, and Janaway is across the line. What a response to that third try from Canford. They get there first, and it's Janaway that gets across the line. The comeback starts here. The short tap from the loose head, and he simply barges his way across the line. Fine goal just testing the wind. Referee helpfully telling him that the wind has dropped down a little bit. Well, we know he's got the distance. Coming in from the touchline. 
Lions. Fine goal. Holds his nerve fantastically well. The young fly half narrows the gap to seven points and it is game on. 15 minutes left to play. What a response from Camford. When you're ready. Bell, oh, kick off is bang on the money and it's well gathered. Tackle, release three, get out. Good work, thank you. Real bit of quality that from Bryanston on the kick off routine. Richardson to Bell, Bell steps back inside. He's shown great muscle through contact as the fly half. Kennedy now goes short. Positive mindset this from Bryanston. What a tackle from Motsi. And Canford are most definitely up for this. Not quite sure what's going on here. Bit of chatter and debate. He's not bleeding, he's not bleeding, he's just trying to Crouch! Don't really know what's going on there, but uh, either way. We have a scrum. We not only have a scrum, we have a penalty. Canford have their tails up in a big way. The referee trying to explain that Bryanston are not quite driving straight enough for his liking. takes them up to the 10 meter line. And I think, in fairness to the referee, there can't be too many arguments with that one. The game is starting to take its toll a little bit. Go away, lads, please, have a break, have a break. Go away, go away, time off. And we're going to have time off. Well, the injured player gets attended to. Which gives me a chance to talk to you about another one of our partners, Coach Logic. Their behind the scenes technology allowing us to really showcase you the best of schoolboy rugby. Some brilliant analysis kit they've got. But it's all about player engagement for them as well, really allowing the, the pupils to take control of the way they do their analysis. And you can get £100 off at Coach Logic if you use the code NEXTGEN15 when you check out. So I would urge you to do that. We all like to save a bit of cash, especially these days. Back on the field of play. Camford have got the line out routine working well. And the mall is on a, a real drive at the moment. Crabbing in field a little bit, but inching forwards as well. And Janaway breaks loose. Janaway, you get the sense, is feeling really up for it after that try. Cutting back on the angle goes Sinnott, his favoured angle. Ball is spilled though. I know it's tiresome, but it really is 
the narrative in this game that the ball is just so slippy. But discipline is the other narrative here. And some back chat from Bryanston means that what was their scrum turns into a Camford penalty. And the door has been opened to give Canford a chance to level this game up. And on the evidence of the last line out, this is a great opportunity for the visitors here. Janaway to throw in. Huge moment in the game, this. Line out brought down successfully. The mall now starts. Inching forward they go. Janaway has it at the tail. Now they're starting to charge forward and Janaway breaks off around the side. He's just inches short. Could they have held that in a little longer? Perhaps they could. Honey potting around the ball. There's got to be space wide, but do they trust the hands in these conditions or will they just keep plowing away? They're going to have another charge. Around the fringe they go. Creeping towards the touchline now, so they're going to just break left a little bit. Round they go. Woodford now. Now they go wide. Feingold back on the inside to Sinnott. Sinnott just short. Playing one out now from nine. Oh, that's brilliant defence from Bryanston. Janaway again, the try scorer, just short. Fountain out to the other Janaway. Fountain now to the other Janaway. A never ending stream of Janaways for Canford. Advantage Camford, I think we're playing with now. Ball goes wide, but we come back for the penalty. Oh, and Camford have a decision to make. It's a gimme three points. If they want the win, they'd be well advised to take it, I think. But it looks as though they're going to prioritise the try first. Woodford. Ambitious offload, but it's well taken. Can they score? The younger years have finished their games. You can see them there in the background cheering their men on. Inches short of Camford. Playing with penalty advantage once again. Janaway. Into touch, but Bryanston were offside, so we'll have another penalty. Woodford is desperate to go quick. Woodford, this time he just charges through. It's a great tackle, though. Canford, battering away the Bryanston line. Bryanston are holding out so well, though. Through they go again, close. That's two tackles in a row from the big second row. To the left-hand side they go now. Eight minutes to play. Seven points behind. Janaway playing with penalty advantage again. You've got to think a yellow card might be coming soon as well. Still they plough around the outside. Fountain has a dart, doesn't quite make it, does he? No, he crawls along, so we come back for the penalty. And the referee is going to have a chat. And I think it's going to be more than a chat. It's a yellow card. Dom Heffer. Off they go to Camford, determined to keep these quick taps going. Playing against 14 now. Not forward across the line and the opportunity goes begging for Canford. 
Bryanston survive. They've lost a man, but they remain in the lead. And just as they went for the line, the ball just squirted loose. Oh, it's so unfortunate for Camford. Big, big scrum needed from Canford here. They've had Bryanston under a little bit of pressure in the last couple. Can they eke out a penalty? They do eke out a penalty. Well, having spilled the ball over the line, it's another lifeline for Canford and another chance to push for that score. Hold, line, when you're ready. Time off. Canford are going to go quick. Janaway this time. Release, please. Yes. Well, we've seen this routine a few times now in the last couple of minutes. Ripped in the tackle, is it, by Bryanston? No, we're coming back for a penalty. It was a tackle. Tackle, no release. And no release. So we will have tackle. another penalty to Canford. No Janaway and Woodford competing for who's going to get to tap this one. I think Woodford's won the argument. Woodford. Well... Oh, and it's a penalty, Bryanston. What a moment for Bryanston. Henry Ward, the open side, gets himself over the ball. And now, finally, Bryanston can exit. but they just have to keep their discipline. If they can keep their discipline for the remaining four minutes, the game is theirs. We look here, this is the one that just squirted loose across the line. Oh, it's a close one, that. It's a really close one, that. Uh, two. It's not huge ground for Bryanston, but it will be their throw. And more important than anything else, it just eats away at that clock. Well-timed shoelace. In we go then, please. From one of the Bryanston forwards there. A canny bit of play. Ball stolen by Canford, though. Well, this game refusing to end simply, is it? Isn't it? Fountain looked right and then goes left, but it's spilled again. Scrum advantage, Bryanston. Kick touched in flight. And Camford. They need to get upfield quickly. They need the territory. Oh, it's good work from Motsi. Time ticking away here. Under two minutes now left to play. And another penalty. That one more unlucky than anything else, just a slightly high tackle. But it's penalties that, that are going to give Canford the opportunity here. Fine gold. 
manages to find his touch. That was brilliant. Really ambitious touch finder. Bryanston almost stopped it. I see it there. It's a, it's a big man trying to drop low-ish on another massive man. So, Time's up. we go again. Time's up. A draw is the best that Camford can hope for now. All Bryanston need to do is hold out. Ball squirts out of the mall and it's lost forward. And Bryanston are going to hold on and win the Dorset Derby. Oh, it was tricky. It was oh so tricky, but Bryanston, hold on. Ending that Camford streak of victories. Bryanston with a 17-0, 17-10 rather, victory. Dogged defence in the end. On a treacherous day here in Dorset, but Bryanston finish up with eight wins from eight games but they won't be thinking about that they will be thinking about Dorset Derby victory 17 points to 10 it's heartbreak for Camford who was 17-3 down at one point scored a try and that changed the tide of the game from there they were battering away at the Bryanston line but Bryanston what defence that was. Dogged, determined, and ultimately successful to hold on for victory. 17 points to 10. And I'll tell you what, for a horrible day out there, these two put on a show. that man there you can just see wandering around almost looking a little bit lost Henry Ward on the open side for Bryanston what a performance from him a crucial turnover on his own try line saving his side from what felt like an almost certain try and look what it means to those Bryanston boys on the touch line there cheering their team through that's what school rugby is all about isn't it that's what it means to these guys. And we look here at the story of the game. The opening try feels like a long time ago, doesn't it? Came early in the first half. Through Charlie Lodge on the left wing. And it was another tap penalty for Bryanston that gave them their second try. Great work to take it on the outside from Maverick Goodchild and George Lydon, the fullback crossing over. Those two tries came either side of a Camford penalty. Bryanston had a 12 3 lead. They took into half time. And then look at his great work once again from the outside centre, Maverick Goodchild. And this time it was his right winger, Dom Heffer, that was the beneficiary of that work from Goodchild. Scoring a try for a 17-3 lead. And then Canford, well, this is the story of the last 15 minutes of the game, really. Canford battering at the Bryanston try line. Janaway, the try scorer. And he was to come oh so close time and time again throughout that final 10 minutes. And you think these this means something to these lads? Look at that. I think they are having their victory photo and a lovely little chat there. Smiles all around and some very, very tired bodies. Full time here in Dorset, Bryanston School 17. Canford 10.
a brilliant game. Please join us on Monday night at 7 o'clock kickoff over at Six Ways. Kings Worcester against RGS Worcester in the 15th annual Modus Cup. From all of us here at Bryanson School, though, goodbye. Introducing Next Gen 15, the new home, School Rugby. Well, where does this come from? Covering everything the school game has to offer in both the North and Southern Hemispheres. Oh, that's a great tackle! Oh. It's not good enough! One, two, skip a few and with the wheels! Highlighting tomorrow's stars, Next Gen 15 will be bringing you live games and regular updates of all the news and in-depth views on the global game. What's the kick? All your school rugby, all in one place. This is Next Gen 50.